The Gulf is a pioneering 5G region. It has progressed with 5G launch spectrum and mobile operators have deployed some of the world's first and fastest 5G networks. But if we take the MENA region as a whole, it becomes clear that more progress needs to be made on spectrum in some areas. Mid-band spectrum is at the heart of 5G and is necessary for the increases in bandwidth and capacity the numerous 5G applications will require. 5G will play a central role in meeting the demand for enhanced mobile broadband, fixed wireless access, the Internet of Things, and Industry 4.0. At the GSMA, we have just studied the specific economic impact of 5G using mid-band spectrum and MENA's diverse economies are expected to benefit greatly from 5G deployment. Mid-band spectrum will be responsible for 16 billion in GDP in 2030 or 0.35% of the region's total. However, if mid-band spectrum is constrained, the economic benefit of 5G may be reduced by up to 40%. Countries in MENA, like the rest of the world, will need to make on average 2 GHz of mid-band spectrum available for licensed 5G, an additional 850 MHz over what has been until now available. 6 GHz will have a crucial role to play in meeting this demand. With the right regulatory tools, 5G will accelerate economic development in MENA, its benefits to industries such as manufacturing or oil and gas, healthcare, education and public administration, including smart cities, can start a new wave of economic growth while facilitating lives and livelihoods all over the region. The coming years will decide how 5G can deliver on its promise. Spectrum is required to deliver fast, affordable services and government and industry need to work together on this to ensure that 5G can power a new phase of economic growth in MENA.